garment was white as snow. Thousands and thousands of ministers unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set. Shalom, 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 my brothers and my sisters out there to the four corners of the world. Uh, this Eldar Yield from One Nation, One Power. Coming back to you, brothers and sisters, one more time. I know you can hear my voice. Put in a little work yesterday. <clears throat> but I want to give honor to the Most High, to His Son, Yeshia, and to the Holy Spirit, first and foremost. And I also want to give honor where honor is due to all of you that support Big Judah, me, and Brother Sabel in the body of Christ. It has been such a blessing for us to be able to work together in unity and to be able to come together on the word as it is written. Today, I want to address all of us that are finding out that we are aboriginal. Now, I want to just talk a little bit about this aboriginal movement on this side. You see, there's a lot of people waking up to the fact that who they are, and there are a lot of brothers out there that have always known who they are. But I'm addressing those of us today that have accepted the Son, that have repented of the sins of your aboriginal forefathers, and have repented of your sins, been baptized, hello, and have received the Ruach HaKodesh, are, are, are about to receive the Ruach HaKodesh. I'm addressing you, the house of Israel, the children of Israel. All 12 tribes can hear this message. But I'm specifically targeting the ten tribes of the house of Israel. Now the Most High, over the last few months, has been so gracious and so merciful to give us back our history that was stolen from us. We're still going through our dead ancestors' history and records because the most I want us to this is the second stick spoken of in Ezekiel 37 these are the records of the ten tribes of the house of Israel forget what you've been told it's all a lie but thanks be to the Holy Spirit we are where we are today now, I had all of you go on our webpage, one nation, one power dot com, and download this article. It has been said. Now, I downloaded this article a couple of days ago, but I did not have time to actually begin to read it. I'm not done reading it yet because I like to dissect things as I've been teaching you. Justice. Now, this information backs up everything I have been teaching. This is the icing on the cake for one nation, one power. If you go back and watch all of the videos that began with Pangea, even the mentioning of Pangea is in here. I was correct. This brother went to college, did his homework, got out information to bring back to his people. This is how the Most High works. The Most High has individuals who are Hebrew Israelites all over the world who has who he has given pieces of our knowledge to now as i begin to read this there's a certain part in here 
that the power of God came on me. Now, I'm going to read just one part. We'll go over this entire book at a later date. But there's a part in here, in this book, where our ancestors had become a matriarchal society. Now that was not and is not the will of the Most High God. I'm going to say that again. Just because our ancestors went into a matriarchal system does not mean it is of the Most High God. You always want to line up everything in your Bible and bring it up till today. If it does not line up with the Word, then we have found an error. Go with me to Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 3. We want Isaiah chapter 3. And we want to look at verse 10 to 12. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10 to 12. And then we're going to go to Numbers chapter 27. Isaiah 3. 10 to 12. Isaiah 3, 10 to 12. And I'm looking at two in this new Bible. <laughs> Isaiah 3, 10 to 12. Let's go. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Verse 11. Woe unto the wicked, Woe unto the wicked, woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Verse 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths and destroy the way of thy paths. I'm going to read this verse again. As for my people, the house of Israel, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. And women rule over them. This is why over in the New Testament it talks about a woman shall not usurp authority over the man. Now let's go to Numbers chapter 27. Just because you grew up in something, don't make it right in the eyes of the Most High. Numbers chapter 27. And we're going to follow the Most High till the wheels fall off, my friend. We're going to follow the Most High till the wheels fall off. Numbers chapter 27. And we walk verse 16. Now we're going to look at the original and divine order of the Most High. This is why he chose men in the Aaron priesthood. This is why Yeshua in the book of Matthew chose 12 men to be his disciples. Yes, you had prophetesses. Yes, you had other women. But they were not the ones chosen by God to lead the people. Numbers 27 and 16. Let the Lord, let the Most High, the Most High of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Do what? Set a man over the congregation. Do what? Set a man over the congregation. So when our ancestors went to a matriarchal system, that is recorded in Isaiah chapter 3. It is not the divine will of the Most High God that women should rule over the men. You see, my friend, the Most High has established this earth in holiness and in righteousness. And if you know anything that the Ruach HaKodesh is female and the Most High is male, the Holy Spirit 
is not ruling over the Most High, but she is by his side, daily his delight. Now, once again, this information has validated and proven everything that I have taught at One Nation and One Power. Not just using the Bible, but also using our enemies' own words against them as a weapon. So once again, we who are, have awakened, repented of the sins of our forefathers and the sins of ourselves, been baptized, accepted the Son into their life as the Son of the living God. We, my friend, are the faces of the real Aboriginal awakening. Thus says the Most High. We have Aboriginals awakening all over the earth, but none of them are returning to whence they have fallen. So once again, I brought out that information because we are not under a matriarchal system, but a patriarchal system. Just because our ancestors, in their fallen state, in their wickedness, and in their sin, set up a matriarchal system, does not mean it is right in the eyes of the Most High. If it's in the Word, it deserves to be heard. If it's not in the Word, it does not deserve to be heard. Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala. Shalom. Thank <laughs> you.